Welcome to the Lewis S. Madrid Sports Complex and an absolutely gorgeous fall afternoon in Laramie, Wyoming as we get ready for Mount West Conference soccer between the Nevada Wolfpack and the Wyoming Cowgirls. There's a good chance by Eliza Gray Smith, oh. direct one. Oh, yeah! What a goal! Beautiful shot. Upper 90 just turned, had nobody on her and said, I'm going to let one rip, Summer. Tatum with a good ball in the box, and it goes all the way through it. That was deflected, I believe, by Savannah Warner. Warner, near side. Tatum again, and it's a low one, and almost oh. deflected. Oh. Oh. No! Sydney Miller, I oh think. My you are correct. Yeah. It is Sydney Miller off the deflection. That hit a couple people's feet, <laughs> but Sydney Miller gets the goal. Well, um,. I practice those with my dad literally probably two or three times a week at home all the time. So I literally have dreams about getting free kicks from that spot. But um, yeah, I mean, I just, the ref blew his whistle and I was like, okay, here we go, I'm getting the goal. <laughs> See if Nikayla can bend this one around, right? Or do you play something somewhere else? Coleman Haver approaches, she'll do the bend and oh, the What a goal! Oh, what a curve on that one. Oh, over the that's block. amazing. Past the diving Stovall. Stovall had a good look at it, just didn't get there quickly. And Copenhaver <laughs> picks up the goal. That's her second of the season. And how about a four goal first half for Wyoming? That is amazing. What a shot. And Jamie Tatum will again take this corner kick for the Cowgirls. So chip it up and head it oh, in. Oh, yeah, another goal. Hagen came out, turned, and just had that one. It went over one of her teammates, and Hagen just popped her head right past Stovall, far side of the net, and Wyoming with a season high in goals with five. 53 minutes into the match. Tatum takes this one. She'll punch it low. Oh, and another header goal. Liv Stutzman. Oh, my goodness. 6 1 Wyoming, <laughs> and Liv Stutzman picks up her first goal of the season. And the offensive explosion continues. Jamie Tatum now making it a three assist afternoon. I just wanted to save that one so bad since I didn't save the first one. Um, I just kind of guessed, went all out, and got the save. So. Soon approaches the ball, goes. Oh, what a save! And this one's chipped back in, and it's going to be <laughs> towards the back of the net. But Alex Doss with a fantastic save. Soon went low right. Doss made the proper call and saves it. That's a beautiful read here by Alex Doss. Honestly, I think this team has been so close to a game like this for the entire year. And the conversation really was just about, you know, wake up on Sunday and be ready to win. We played really good soccer. We switched up um, our formation a little bit and tried to make it easier for us to combine. And that ended up working out for us. So I'm just super, super proud of them and really happy that they're able to get this kind of reward after, um, to your point, like a game on Friday that didn't feel very good. You hope that the players are able to gain some confidence from today. And the things that we as a staff have been telling them in terms of what they are capable of, what we know they're capable of, uh, was on display today. And again, it's just about trying to continue to create environments where the players feel that and know that and really believe it, that they are that good and that they can have a, you know, a six goal game um, when they choose to. And, uh, this weekend's going to be tough. Utah State and Boise State are very good programs that are very well coached. Um, and it's been a mission of ours, you know, to be the same team on the road that we are at home. And so, you know, my expectation is that they rise to that challenge this weekend.